Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to run you through the process of upgrading your Mac computer to Mac OS X High Sierra. This computer here is running Mac OS Sierra, basically system 10.12, and High Sierra is system 10.13, 10.13. The first thing you need to do is download and get High Sierra. So what you do is you go to the App Store to get it. Now right now, at the time that we're making this video, Mac OS X Mojave, which is 10.14, that's the latest version of the operating system. But you may not want to upgrade to Mojave, so we're going to run you through the process of how to upgrade to Mac OS X 10.13 Sierra. High Sierra, sorry, I should say High Sierra. So you can't really find High Sierra on the App Store without going to a special URL. So what you need to do is open up Safari or Firefox or Chrome and put in this URL right here. Now I'll also put this URL in the comments below so you should be able to click on it easily to get it. So you click on there and hit enter and a web page will come up. And this gives you some basic uh, instructions on how to upgrade to High Sierra. Uh, this is a good one to follow as well. And one of the things to do is to look at your computer and see, does your computer fall in this range of devices? If it's older than these, High Sierra is not going to run on it, so there's really no point in trying to upgrade. You're just going to give yourself uh, problems. Number two, definitely make a backup. Anytime you make any changes to your system, especially upgrades, make sure you've got a time machine backup. And I have some videos on my channel that show you how to connect a USB drive and make a time machine backup. So I would strongly, strongly recommend you do that before you do any kind of upgrade or change to your system. All right, I need to make sure that you're hooked up to the internet because you're gonna have to download the uh, installer and it's gonna take a while to download. So you're gonna just have to be patient for that. And then we should be able to um, install it. Now here, they're going to ask you to still upgrade to Mojave. You can ignore that because uh, we're trying to do High Sierra. So what you need to do is click on this link right here and this will sort of send a secret link to the App Store and then you're going to have access to High Sierra. Once you see this page, click on download and then the installer file will start to download. Now this is a big installer file. It's probably over five gigabytes, I would imagine. So see here, it says it's going to take 23 minutes uh, for it to download. So I'm going to uh, stop the video here and then we'll come back again when it's uh, time to install it, just so you don't have to wait uh, to watch the whole thing downloading. Uh, but please be patient, depending on your internet connection. It might be faster for you, it might be slower. Uh, so you'll just have to, to wait for that. Okay, our macOS High Sierra installer has finished downloading. You'll be able to tell that because the downloading progress bar here will go away and download will change to open. So there's a few ways to open it. Uh, it'll actually often open by itself. You can see here on my system, it's open by itself here in the background. Uh, but you can click this button here uh, and say open and it'll just bring it to the front. Also, I'll just show you here as well, if we open a new finder window and then go to applications, you'll see that it gets put into your applications folder. So if you're wanting to create a bootable USB installer flash drive, then um, this is the file that you actually need to keep. Uh, you'll see it's five gigs. And I've got uh, other videos showing how to do that. Uh, I'll link them in the comments below. So we'll close this up. We can quit the App Store. We can quit Safari. It's gonna quit all that stuff anyways when it comes time to do the installation. And now, in the installer program here, we can hit continue. And we have a license, we need to agree to that. And we choose which hard drive that we want to install on. It's going to be your main hard drive. So again, I can't stress this enough. Make sure that you have a time machine backup before you upgrade your system. If anything goes wrong, you need to be able to retrieve your files 
and uh, recover your system. So it's very important. If you don't have a backup, stop what you're doing right now. Check out my other videos on how to do a time machine backup, back up your system, and then come back and try this again. Okay, so we can click on this drive to select it, and then we just hit install. We might have to put in our administrator password. And now it's going to go through a process of installation and it'll reboot the computer while it's doing it. Uh, the first thing it's going to do is install some files on your drive to make it uh, necessary for, um, for doing the, uh, the reboot and install. So I'm going to switch over to camera mode and from there uh, we can see the installation because I won't do, be able to do a screen capture. After the reboot, the Mac will start installing all the files on your computer and upgrading it to iSierra. I'm going to skip ahead so you don't have to wait for all this time for the upgrade. I can vary a little bit depending on the speed of your system and what kind of hard drive you have. In this case, I'm on a MacBook Air, so it's going to take about 40 minutes. After that, the computer will reboot and you'll be ready to do the final setup of High Sierra after the upgrade. Okay, your upgrade has completed and we are ready to log in. And you'll just have a few items to click through to complete the upgrade. So just click on continue for the data and privacy option. And here you can sign in with your Apple ID. And if you don't have an Apple ID or you want to do this later, you can click set up later. And here you can decide if you want to share analytics with Apple. This is optional, you really don't have to do it. And if there's any incompatible software, I've got an old version of a software called Apple Configurator on here. It'll tell you that that's on your computer and that can no longer be used. If you find any of those items, then you need to go to the manufacturer's websites and try to download new versions. Okay, here's another one I have to upgrade as well. Great, now that we have upgraded our system, we can Go here to about this Mac and check the specs and see that we've upgraded to macOS High Sierra 10.13 and it's ready to use. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it uh, with your friends on social media. And if it's useful for you, then please subscribe. We've got a number of tutorials on our channel and we're coming up with more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.